Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, we of course did a video talking about what will be some of the new features coming in the April 2019 update. What is right now codenamed 19H1. So this is the next version of Windows of course coming in the April. Um, like right now you see this is the latest build that we are using 18.3.2.3. And um, so I talked about some of the features in the first video that I posted. Wanted to talk a little more. What else is there going to be in here? Once again, not a big, big version. You know, I mean, April 2019, I think, will probably be one of those versions where there's one of the least number of new features compared to previous versions. And I think it's, it's okay. I mean, they're probably working more on fixing bugs. And I think that's what they need to do right now. So a uh, default start layout, I have talked about that, a default start layout that is different. But also um, Cortana and search that are in different places. So look at this, look at how the layout of the search box, first of all, when you click, easier to see um, what you did in recent activities, clearer activities, meaning that before you would have a list of things and you weren't sure what was, you know, what you view online and what you did internally on your computer and what apps you used. Well, now you've got that information here. It tells you the top apps you've been using. It tells you the um, different websites or, uh, for example, I was testing one of the videos that I just created and uh, you see it here. So it's clearer, it's more spaced out it's easier to see and also of course at the top you've got ways to see apps, documents, emails, web and more. So there's a few things like that that are pretty cool. Uh, Cortana is finally separated in 19H1 so if you ever want to use Cortana what you will have is a um, separate Cortana from search and a lot of people were actually asking a lot of people were asking that. Um, a lot of people weren't happy with the fact that Cortana and Search were bundled together. Now, two separate things. So you've got that little ring on the taskbar now that gives you a uh, Cortana if you wish to do so. Um, one of the things that they've been doing a lot in the past is playing around with the uh, Fluent Design. And of course, the Fluent Design is still continuing here in this version. So uh, you've got uh, lock screen fluent design that is much better, nicer, and gives a lot more of a look. Uh, drop down shadows in, in menus, for example. Uh, so things like that that are interesting. Um, they're improving the quick action center by um, you know, displaying the buttons in a different way, by also giving us a better way of um, getting all the different um, actions and notifications from our different apps. Uh, things that were really not that, well, they were okay, but they, they could have been better, you know? So this is um, a, a lot more interesting. Of course, we talked about the different options in the settings. So settings, uh, as you see here, and this is the example from my account, my settings here at the top, you see that there's uh, one drive backed up, stuff like that. So you got information with my account, my Microsoft account, and of course all the new options, including a search option. Uh, lots of little changes here. There are gaming changes, uh, trying to make gaming more interesting. Having less of a, um, you know, annoyance from Windows when you're playing games, like it's not time when you're playing a game and you're, you know, maybe in that intense moment where you might um, finally reach a goal that Windows Update pops up and says, hey, we want to have an update now. Uh, you know, these are a little bit of things that are kind of a little different. Um, so there's a few, you know, uh, a few interesting new features like that that are kind of cool in making the uh, Windows version uh, more interesting to everybody. Um, like I said, there's New options also of, uh, of Windows updates, new login options with Windows Hello, um, passwordless. If you link your phone, for example, I've got mine here, you have passwordless phone um, account entry, if you wish, 
and not just for Windows, but for uh, even online accounts of Microsoft accounts. So lots of stuff and interesting uh, new features. Somebody was pointing out the light team. Well, you know, it was already a, a light team in, in Windows. Well, actually, yeah, okay. I, I get the drift. When you actually install Windows from the scratch, you're in, I'll call it in a white team. Because what's happening is that the theme that you get in Windows when you don't do anything is very white. The light mode that they are giving us here is actually um, a little more, I'd say, grayish. It's not as white. And it's actually nice. So there is a difference uh, when you compare it to the original white um, theme that, that Windows have. So there is, there is a, a, a difference here. And of course, you can uh, have a uh, light and dark theme. Uh, you just choose whatever you want um, in here. So, um, you know, and, and there are new options, new sound options also, for example, more of what is happening with sound is happening in here. That's something that also is uh, slowly, you know, moving the control panel. Questions that people asked, is the control panel still there? Of course it is. There's way too many uh, things in the control panel to actually not have it uh, in this build. And the, the control panel is going to be there for a long time. There's way too many things in the control panel that aren't in settings yet. Uh, including, you know, I mean, this is probably what is one of the problems with um, when they move settings. Because there's settings of sound in the settings app. And it already started to roll into the April, uh, the October 2018 update. But there's more of them now in 19H1. And one of the biggest problems is that you still need to go to sound in the control panel, for example, to do things. So, you know, it's kind of a, a little mess here, but uh, hopefully. Of course, um, you know, um, OneDrive is still here. You can back up uh, their storage sense. That improved or more intelligent storage sense, if you want. Um, there will be a different announcement. So when you do Windows updates, of course, one of, there are two types of updates when you do a Windows update. There's the update of security updates, so cumulative updates, for example. But there's also the updates for the new version of Windows coming up, which are called feature updates. It will be clearer now. You'll have a little box that will show up when it's a feature update saying, hey, there's a feature update, uh, which is different from a cumulative update with security. You'll be warned about that. And of course, you can delay or pause the updates. As you see here, the pause updates for seven days is coming to home versions also. This one is in the pro version, as you see here. So there's a, you know, kind of a, a few things. There's a lot of the settings of the different options uh, that are moving around or changing. So this is going to be interesting to see also. Um, and once again, I want to say that in 19H1, we will have the new spect um, the, the new um, mitigation efforts for the Spectre and um, Meltdown security flaws in the uh, CPU. Uh, it's a new one that comes from Google. Um, basically, what it does is it's different. It, it can mitigate the attacks from Spectre and Meltdown by doing a different thing. So, and that new way of doing it is actually um, not as bad as the other ones. Right now, if you're on the October 2018 update or April 2018 update, you got the Intel fix. You had a update that fixed the Intel CPU mitigation. Uh, problem is the micro microcode that is being sent out disables a lot of features of the CPU and slows down PCs 15 to 30%. In 19H1, that will be the new mitigation, the one that Google discovered. That one is only 5 to 10% in slowdown. So there's a good chance that you'll find that 19H1, the next version of Windows, is actually faster on your PC, especially if you have an older PC with Windows 10. So these are a few of the things where we are right now. Of course, there might be a couple of new other things that are still not here yet that will show up at some point. But I uh, hope that you enjoyed this uh, little advanced look 
at what 19H1 is going to bring us in April of this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.